Hello everyone, my name is Laura Bean and I'd like to apologize in advance for this like not so visually appealing background and trash lighting as I am in my college dorm room. Which brings me to today's topic about the beginnings of my college experience so far. So let's get started. So to start off, let's backtrack all the way to my orientation. I ended up meeting this girl. Let's call her Dee Dee. I met Dee Dee through the fact that we found out that we both worked for the same company at the time. So Dee Dee and I ended up exchanging phone numbers, but we never texted once. We like went on about our lives or whatever. I ended up getting a new phone and with that, a new phone number and I lost all of my contacts. So I move in and I I've been a bit so I move in and I meet my roommate and everything and she ended up like being super nice, blah blah blah, you know, like we got along perfectly okay. A few days later I was walking down the hallway and there was somebody's like dorm room door wide open. So I look in this room and there's this girl folding laundry, putting it away in her drawer. She looks up and we make this super uncomfortable eye contact. So I like leave her field of view right after breaking the eye contact and I slammed my body on the brakes and backed that shit up like a Tonka truck and I was like beep, beep, beep. This bitch Dee Dee accused me of hating her because I didn't answer her texts all summer. I had to get all defensive and I was like nah be nah like I got a new phone, I got a new number, I lost all my contacts, like sorry fam, still don't know your name, since I lost her number, let me just give her my phone, like open up a little new contact tab, you know, give her my phone and she'll fill it in, like she'll fill in the blanks like any other normal human being, like, so I gave her my phone, right, and when I got it back, it was just a phone number, the shit was blank. What do I save it as? I don't understand. Do you think I know your name? Some of you might be like, well, why didn't you just ask her what her name was? I didn't want to look like me getting a new phone number was a cover up. She remembered my name and I didn't want to like confirm her suspicions of me being a shit human being. Well, anyway, I ended up remembering her name a few days later. Right when I remembered, I had realized that I am a dumbass and her name was right on the little Hershey Kiss shaped name tag outside of the door. So Dee Dee and her roommate got into a little spat and they didn't get along. So the second the roommate freeze was over, they wanted out. They wanted to switch immediately. And if you know me, you know that I really appreciate my alone time. I mean, my roommate and I got along just fine, like we were capable of living together, but we had the exact same schedule. So I was never alone. I saw this as the perfect opportunity. All four of us had to sign this roommate swap agreement, so Dee Dee, her roommate, myself, and my roommate signed, and then we did the switch, and then I ended up being roommates with Dee Dee. We ended up having a lot more common than I expected, so there's a little history, and if we fast forward one month later, here we are. I'm not really good at making friends unless they approach me or I meet people through other people that I already knew by them approaching me. So I'm currently like lonely. I hang out with her and like her friends. They're not really my kind of people, like no offense to them or anything, but one of the girls is more like Sharpay Evans and I'm like Zeke. Uh, she goes home every weekend so I am currently alone and I had to experience eating alone here for the first time. Surprisingly, I actually enjoyed it, but that's probably due to the fact that my entire school goes home on the weekends, and there were only about 20 people. My opinion on eating alone might change drastically when my entire school decides to come back, and all the tables are filled up. It does get pretty packed in there when, like, in the regular week, but that might be good for me because who knows, maybe I'll go to eat alone, and there'll only be one spot open. It'll be at a table of people and we end up like being really close friends or whatever and then I meet this like this guy and we get married and live happily ever after with our six children. College goals. Meet your husband, live happily, not in debt. This whole no friend situation is the reason I'm filming. I figure maybe since I can't make friends here in the physical world and I sp already spend a lot of my free time playing Animal Crossing, maybe I should direct that time into making friends. But the only way I find that possible is making friends in the virtual world. So hopefully making videos will help me meet some really cool people and possibly a few hot guys. 
That concludes what I have to say for you guys today, so be sure to always save your contacts when getting a new phone and read name tags, and I don't really know how to end this, so goodbye.